I think it's okay for us to accept the fact that um, everyone is not ready for what you carry. But it doesn't mean that you're not ready. In Acts chapter 18, Paul was preaching to a room full of people, right? But he preached to them for three weeks and only a portion of them or a remnant of them actually was persuaded to move and change in faith. Now, in order to be persuaded, there has to be some type of hesitation or discomfort, um, even some questions or maybe even some skepticism that you have once had. And now you're in a place where you're convinced that there is another way or that, that, that the way that you have been going is wrong. Okay. And so this also calls for your behavior to respond to what you are being reformed to or what you are being changed to. I'm almost positive that Paul's style was different than what they were used to. Um, and they might not even been used to anything. They don't, you know, sometimes people don't know what to receive. But Paul's way was different than what they were used to. And it was equivalent to his experiences, one, outside of Christ, but then also in Christ. Paul dealt with a level of rejection, especially initially in his ministry, but at the same time before Christ, he was persecuting the Christians. And so it was almost like there was an understanding of why there was a hesitation to believe him, but at the same time he was so convinced and so persuaded about the God that was in him that he still was able to push through even when everybody else wasn't ready to receive it. What am I saying to you? Be okay with the remnant. Be okay with the remnant. Even if it's just a little bit at a time, keep moving, okay? It does not attest to who you are. It does not attest to your gifting. It does not attest to what God is doing in you. Keep moving. A remnant here, a remnant there, it all adds up. And one day you're going to see the fruit of your labor. And this is not a message of rejection. This is a message of wisdom. This is word of wisdom. Because if people cannot find a loophole for them to control or for them to be a part of what it is that you're presenting, whether you're preaching, whether you're teaching, whether you're starting a business, whether you're writing a book. If people can't find themselves in there to be able to manipulate it or to control it, they will reject it. That's something to expect. Even the idea of another way can get uncomfortable. But I tell you this, rest well and know that it is so. God bless you.